What's going on, guys and gals? It's Dragon to get back again for another Duel Links content video. Today I'm jumping in. I'm coming at you basically with my farm deck for Inglorious Bastion. Um, literally pun intended. Like I did, kind of know what they're doing when they titled this event. I mean, obviously it's so obvious, but it's just funny. But um, uh, I was gonna have lost my train of thought. Uh, I'm calling this or I'm making this vid today to give you my farm deck for Inglorious Bastion level 3, or level 30, and level 40. Now, I'm sorry, and this isn't getting up this a day late, because, um, yesterday I had some, I know I managed to get the, I had to re-upload the black wing, or the black, the main box, the blackout, was it black, blackout, whatever it's called, uh, the, that ma main box, because my volume was, um, on my thing was too low, um, so I've, tr hopefully it's fine now, but I managed to get that up, but after that, like, for the rest of the day, I had, like, such bad internet issues um, that um, I just couldn't um, upload so you know I couldn't upload so I'm uploading this now a day late nothing I can do there and no it was uh, being uh, being being not one to work basically so without further ado let's jump in with our Bastion deck um, uh, one of the easiest this is of course Bastion's like really easy to farm um, this is the farm deck we're using we're going to be using our Jamas Jamas are pretty successful and pretty um, Easy to farm Bastion. So, for this deck, we're using one King of the Swamp, uh, triple Ojama Blue, uh, one Grey Grimmer's Vassal, two Blacks, two Greens, and two Yellows. We're also using Anti Magic Arrows, and you're using your standard uh, double Union Attack, your standard Secret Pass to the Treasures, or your double Poly, Secret Pass Treasures, and triple Jar of Greed just for draw power. For the extra deck, we're using two Ojama Kings and triple Ojama Knight. There's not much to this deck. You're using Land of Ojamas, you're using Land of Ojamas and Chaz. Not much to this deck. Um, Really, um, it's pretty straightforward. We've all seen the jobs before. I'm using King of the Swamp basically just for the polymerization, the draw power, this effect, so I can get polymerization in hand because I'm running two of those. Um, and Jar Greed just for extra draw power. But um, yeah, your goal is you want to open up with uh, Ojama Knight. Um, if you don't, if you can't open up Ojama Knight, there is some stuff you can do. Most of his monsters, if you, when you summon, or you can just summon a uh, level thousand, and he'll automatically be higher because of Ojama Country. Uh, county? Is it county or country? Country, yeah, Ojama Country. Uh, Ojama Country. Um, but it's not really advised. You more or less want to get your Ojama Knight out in the field, but it's pretty easy farm deck. Um, I'll show you guys how it works in today's vid. Um, oh, Bastion's not here yet, but that's fine. Before we go to Bastion, uh, before we get into farm deck, um, I just get the farm deck first for the people who just want to see it, but I'm, I am going to be going over the um, the new rewards that Bastion has brought. Um, basically, ba and if you don't know what type of Bastion event um, this is, it's, it's a roaming duelist event where you know you do you can do do your standard duelist or your your legendary duels or your vagabond um, or rank duels, and he after a certain amount of time he will appear. So that's pretty much it. And there's like a little backstory there. <laughs> there, hey, you can read that if you want. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, and also. Bastion will appear in GX Duel World, but not appear in Duel Monsters of IDs. Uh, it does not appear at the gate. That's is, is unaffected. It's not affected by doing the gate, and it's not affected by doing favorites. So, see little disclaimers there. So, for the new cards we have, we have a bunch of new cards. He has a lot of um, SRs, like a lot of rewards, but it's really cool. Um, we also have shoot. For the first card, we have the one ultra rare is Shoot and Doji, um, which is a monster. What does it say? A monster lets you draw one card by banishing two zombies. Graveyard edition. Oh yeah. So basically, what is once per turn you can activate one of these effects: banish two zombie type monsters from your graveyard to draw one card. Okay, it's not bad. It's not great. It's fine. Um, it's it's two for one. So I don't think that's where it's not really that good. Maybe if it had been two for two, that probably would have been okay. Target one of your banished zombie monsters. Place that target top your deck. So you can, you know, you can, you can wombo combo with two effects. Not really wombo combo because you have to do. You're gonna do it once per turn, but you can't banish one and then put one back. Top your deck on the next turn. It's it's not it's not a great card. I mean the art the art's really cool. I like the art, but um yeah, that's one that's his ultra rare that he's given for this event. The next card we have is Red Ogre. When this card is normal summon, you can send any number of cards from your hand to the graveyard that then target that same number of cards on the field, return those targets to the hand. That's pretty cool. The only downside is he's a seven star monster, but I'm sure there's something there. Maybe you can make it work. Maybe there's something there. Um but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's it's a pretty cool effect. I like the effect. It's a pretty neato burrito. Nothing is going to make or break the game. But it's just a pretty cool effect anyway. The next card he has is Goblin Elite Attack Force. We have another Goblin Attack Force in the game. This card's attack is changed to the, yeah, the defense position at the end of the battle phase. And the battle, 
phase cannot be changed on the next turn. So same as the same as all the other goblin um, goblin in this game. You know, this one's slightly better though because it's got some defense to it. The others only have like zero defense. Now probably the the most thing when I saw this is the most thing that I was excited about is the chemical critters. The chemical critters are now part of this event. They are no longer just the one and the two that you get from leveling up fast and they're now actually you know get a play set of everything and even there's even a new one. Um, I was really excited to see this. I was really happy. These are cool Gemini monsters and definitely want to build a deck with like a full set of these. Um, it's pretty darn cool. Um, so we have one of the new ones, which is Chemical Critter Oxy Ox, which is this card your normal summon once the field of grave, blah blah blah, same Gemini effect. With this card's normal summon the field, you can normal summon to have the effect, uh, become an effect monster with this effect. During your main phase, you can special summon one Gemini monster from hand. That's pretty cool. Uh, and if you do all Gemini monsters, you can show up currently combat monsters original level until the end of this turn. That's pretty cool. I honestly, that'd be pretty useful for like C summon, but there's no C summons in the game. But um, I think it's a pretty cool effect. He's zero attack, that's the only downside, but I think it's still pretty, I think it's still pretty cool. Um, we also have Polychemic Critter, Di Diox, Diox, Dioxo Ogre, Diox Ogre. This guy is not new, but in case you don't know what he is, in case you might not know, um, I'll go through him anyway. Normal monster. Uh, you can normal summon to have this effect. Once per turn, you can banish one Gemini monster from your deck. Or, banish one Gemini monster from your graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls. Destroy it. Pretty good. Pretty good regarding it's actually a really nice card. Then we have Chemical Cutter Hydron Hawk. And this is Hawk. And blah blah blah. You can discard one card. You know, you normal summon to have this effect. You can discard one card and target one Gemini monster in your graveyard, special summon to the defense position. So, pretty good. There was definitely there was a Wombo combo, I think, with Kim and uh, Dioxid, Dioxog, or whatever. You know, you'd get. Get him engraved, then use him to special someone into the field. Um, pretty darn cool. And that's pretty much it. There's another card. Um, there's another chemical critter, but it's not there. Bastion is not here. So I will be back, um, and we will dive into the farm deck when Bastion decides to show up. So BRB. Okay, and Glorious Bastion is now here. So we have Yokai Zombie version number 2.0. Um, so the other look at all look at all the uh, all the uh, chemical critter, chemi critters. That's uh, pretty cool. The other one that didn't show up on it was the Chemical Hydrogon. Uh, um, this guy has obviously been in the game before, but if you don't know, blah blah. It's another Gemini. Uh, another Gemini when just normal summoned. You can activate one of these effects. Uh, or become. You have it become a monster with these effects. Okay. When another Gemini monster is normal summoned, you can make it that monster 500 attack and defense. Pretty cool. If you don't have monster you control, be destroyed by, by a card effect, you can destroy. One other card you control instead. So not th those aren't new, um, but they are. I'm so happy that they're no longer just a level up rewards, and you can you can now get a play set of all of them along with the other three new cards. Um, but yeah, he's got four SRs and an ultra. Um, yeah, and glorious bastion. Let's get in with it and see if we can um, get her done. So hopefully this does not backfire in my face. Power going first, which sucks a little bit. It, does, it, it just means we have a less card to draw. Oh my god. Um, it just obviously doesn't have a 100% win rate, but it is a good deck. Um, it is actually a decent deck. Okay. So we have a couple chances here. We just need to draw two Ojamas. We have so many Ojamas in the deck, it might not matter. Uh, okay, so there's a Jama Green. We have two face down, so we should hopefully. Yep, there we go. There's no Jama. And uh, see if we can get yellow. Maybe get Big Boy. No, not getting Big Boy. We don't need Big Boy, but mm, needs the option. So basically, what you do is just go Polymerization. Um, a Jama Knight. Jama Black and a Jama Green. And you normal summon, merge the form of Jama Knight. And then you block down the two zones, and he has a zero attack or a zero attack point. Samurai Skull. Now, one detriment that can be to the, the farm is if the one monster you lock on his board, the one monster he opens up with is Gozuki, that can be a problem because he will keep ditching monsters. He'll keep ditching monsters to his grave, and that can suck for you because it can completely ruin the farm because you'll have to. You are basically on a timer then because he'll keep dumping cards and the deck will get less and less and less, and eventually you'll run out of cards. He'll run out of cards. But, um,. Yeah, so you just do that and you just end your turn and keep drawing. We got lucky because we're drawing nothing but our spells now. So yeah. Also, a funny. Okay, I didn't. 
And the funny thing is, he has he has Mizuki. He's Mizuki. Um, Mizuki is not in the game. Would you believe it or not? Mizuki is not in the game. Oh crap! There's credit card. And uh, Mizuki is not in the game, so he has it in his, but we don't get him. And uh, Mizuki and Gozuki. I always think it's kind of funny. I was like, I wonder what they had Mizuki to the game. Technically, okay. they did. Let's just put it in Inglorious Bastion Attack. So yeah, pretty straightforward from next. So what you can do? I wonder, can I draw this and draw a jumbo yellow? No, I wanted to get a big boy just to, just to see if I could, but it doesn't matter. You don't need him. And um, yeah, take it to Ajama. You can summon. You can go ahead and fusion summon another Ajama Knight. It really does not matter. Um, just declare be your hand if you want. Um, it doesn't matter because he's, he's not going to do anything about it. It's a pretty easy straightforward farm deck. Um, Ajamas are just super useful for a lot of farm decks. Um, this one included. Um, he's nothing. He's not a strenuous farm. He's really easy. His deck's pretty straightforward. Um, nothing too crazy to expect. And this works on level 30 and level 40, so you can do that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to talk, you know, talk enough to wind down the clock. Um, another thing as well, if you open up with Ojama Blue and no Ojamas, you can always go ahead and set Ojama Blue, because that'll get you two Ojamas. If you are stuck, that's the reason you run this guy anyway. Um, so yeah, nothing to worry about. Not much to to it. And this will be it here. So you'll, you'll do as you normal summon your Grave Regards Passel. Uh, you activate Secret Passive Treasures. Activate Union Attack. Union Attack 1. Union Attack 2. And you go into the battle phase. Let that buckle up. And then activate this. Uh, anyway, you're not, you still have over 10,000. Um, you still have 10,000 without um, a Jabba King. You don't need him. Two Jabba Knights does the job. You just put the Jabba King anyway, just for the fun of it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it to it. This is a pretty easy um, farm deck. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, nice and easy farm. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. That's and it's simple. And then you'll, if you're most likely, most likely, like if you're most likely like me, you'll get nothing. Ooh, never mind. I actually got something this time. Can I get two? Nope. Your boy can only get one. What are we gonna get? Ooh, nice. That's mm, a that's a play set of those. I now have a play set of those. Let's have another carbo crab. I didn't go. I didn't actually go to crab either. I don't. Did I? Back to the grave. No, because I went to hawk. I didn't go to crab. Crab's another one. Uh, during, you can during normal summon to have this effect. During my phase, you can send one Gemini monster from deck to the graveyard and add one Gemini from deck to your hand. So I didn't. I didn't go to crab. But crab is another one. Uh, also, this is still going on too. I'm getting so deep in the floors that it's not even it's barely giving me any rewards. Um, that's a really interesting event, the dual quest. I never made a bid on it, but I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. And Bastion decided to show up again. Which is kind of nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I really like this in, uh, in Gl Inglorious Bastion event. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment with dual quest in Glorious Bastion and Casey Cup. Um, but I mean, a cup. You can do a quest, you can do casually, you don't need to focus on that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you really enjoyed, hit the subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next vid. Peace.